Hey, it's TJ. I'm going to do another supplement review. I just got back from a three-day meditation retreat, so this is a supplement I probably don't need right now. But it is uh, Now Foods GABA. So I'll tell you more about my personal experience a little bit later. I'm going to first talk about what exactly is GABA and why do some people need it. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter which brings down stress. So if you're constantly overwhelmed by stress, you often feel overworked, pressured, it's hard to loosen up, sensitive to bright light, noise, chemical fumes. You feel significantly worse if you skip a meal. If in the afternoons you really like to have starchy foods like wine, or you like to have wine, sweets, maybe even smoke some marijuana, maybe even in the middle of the night but never really early in the day, then you might be lacking in the amino acid GABA. GABA is your brain's natural tranquilizer. It's your natural Valium. It's what Valium and those other drugs actually attempt to mimic in the brain is GABA. It's both an amino acid and a potent mood enhancer. So here's the thing. In my personal experience, taking Now Foods GABA, I can't tell if it's affecting me or not. I take it and I just I don't feel a difference. When I take this GABA, it's like I've even taken a bunch at once and I don't really significantly feel more relaxed. Now for me personally, I can't tell if it's because GABA is maybe a more subtle effect. Maybe I don't metabolize it correctly. There's a lot of conflicting research that GABA doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier and so therefore when you take GABA, it doesn't actually make it to your brain where it's going to give you those effects like Valium and those you know, turn off the stress, making us feel good. I know what's really interesting is reading all the research on how we can't get it across the blood-brain barrier, my own experience with GABA and how I can't really tell if it's, if it's worked, but yet I've talked to people that take it and they, they know that it, it affects them. There was one reader on my site where, you know, I told her about L-tryptophan at night. She said it helped a lot, but when she took a tryptophan and a GABA, she slept way better than just taking the L-tryptophan alone. Every book that I've read that uses amino acids, nutrient therapy to help people overcome depression always mentions GABA. GABA is amazing. Within minutes, they've seen changes in people's behavior and moods and stress levels. There's people in fight or flight mode and they give them some GABA and their tension just melts. GABA is a little confusing. GABA is the number one potent anti-stress amino acid that the research shows we can take. After that, it's things that boost serotonin. So in my personal experience, I would recommend to people going for the things that are known to work, such as L-tryptophan, 5-HTP, some L-theanine, maybe valerian root, or even trying something like glycine, which a lot of people have, have seen helps them relax. But I can't deny that GABA, some people tell me how much it helps them and it's in so many books that I'm reading and so many research and case studies done that it's, it's one of those things that really, if you're, if you're going to want to try GABA, I'd say if you have a little extra money, you've tried some other things and your main symptoms are you're, you're constantly overstressed, you're tense, you're in fight or flight mode, you crave you know the sweets and starches and wine mid-afternoon you just can't turn it off I would try taking some various amino acids I'd try making sure it's not a lack of serotonin if you've got a little extra money and some other things haven't worked try GABA see if it works for you you gotta take it on an empty stomach for me personally I can't honestly say that now foods GABA has proven to have an effect for me everybody's different but in just being completely honest and frank with these reviews. Um, GABA is a confusing amino acid. I'm not quite sure if it works. So in conclusion, it's one of those hit or miss supplements that's either going to be a lifesaver for you or you're going to take it and you're not going to notice a difference at all. So thanks for watching. I hope that was useful.